Hi babes. Okay, so so sorry for my voice. It's currently about 2:30 to 40 in the morning. I just wanted to go ahead and do this video. So this photographer from Instagram found my account and he wanted to do a shoot with me. And I've done shoots with photographers and he's actually like a videographer, but I've done shoots with both of them. I've never really had a professional one try to be friends with me. And as you can see, um, there are times where I don't write him back because when I do shoots with people, they just ask me like things like, do you have your own hairstylist? Do you have your own makeup artist? Are you going to bring one? Are you going to do your own makeup? Should I hire somebody? Blah, blah, blah. And we get into that get into are you comfortable doing this are you comfortable doing that and I don't mean taking clothing off I mean literally can you climb this height can you pose this long do you feel fine wearing this inch heels anyway he's clearly being inappropriate asking me about my boobs telling me how pretty I am sending me a dick pic asking to take me out just completely inappropriate I immediately blocked him on everything I don't know if he's on my Facebook. I have three Facebooks. I don't know if he's on them. I know he watched uh, one of my YouTube videos or a few of them or whatever. So he'll probably see this video and get pissed off. I don't care probably because he has a wedding ring on and I don't care. This is so inappropriate and so unprofessional. So I just wanted to give you guys some backstory. Here's the Instagram messages and he reached out to me i had no idea who he was i'm assuming he does this with other women i'm just assuming that because even if i was the most beautiful woman in the world men like this don't just do that to the most beautiful woman in the world i would hope he hasn't done this to other people and taken advantage of the fact that some women's dreams are to become models as you guys know i'm in school to get my doctorate in social work um, it's just not my dream to be a model. It's something I do for fun. It's something I do with my friends. It's something I do for my friends that need shoots or need videos or whatever. But it's not my dream or passion. I wanted to make awareness of him. As you guys know on this channel, I always post creepy men and, you know, post them so we can all be aware and to slightly embarrass them for being so disgusting and absolutely fucking atrocious but this like he literally could be taking advantage of women who think he'll he'll give them their big break and he doesn't need to be for, he doesn't need to be a videographer he doesn't need to be and i think he's married um on his picture i zoomed in i think he has a wedding ring on so his wife needs to be made aware that her husband's out here taking shoots of women and then sleeping with them if he is in fact or married so while um doing like looking um his instagram up i was thinking like oh i remember some of my friends in florida who were models telling me like oh those photographers who say like oh you can't bring any friends you can't bring anybody and don't go to photographers like that those photographers that want to take you out to lunch and so i went down this rabbit hole on google i don't even have reddit i went down this rabbit hole on youtube of models just talking about either being uh, raped or sexually, you know, sexually assaulted slash, you know, touched inappropriately, um, inappropriate emails and text messages being sent to them. And like I've said before, I have done photo shoots with people before. Um, like I said, the text messages, they don't try to take me out to dinner. They don't try to take me out to lunch. If anything, we don't even FaceTime. We don't even do a Zoom call. They send me pictures like, here's how I'm thinking of the shoot. What do you think? Are you comfortable doing this? And like I said, it's never like the professional photographers and videographers I've worked with. And I'm saying professionals because I have had unprofessional ones ask me inappropriate things. And that's when they immediately get blocked. I should have blocked him a few days ago when he asked me about my boobs and when he was telling me how pretty I was. I didn't think anything of it. I just put him on mute and pretty much I sent the messages to my friends in Sistel because and other friends I have that live in Cincinnati, Ohio that are interested in modeling. And I absolutely told them don't work with him. And I, like I said, I have had um, experiences with professional uh, photographers and videographers when they ask me what am I comfortable with or different things they ask me like oh would you be willing to wear like 
a long wig because it's a fairy type of shoot would you be comfortable being in this type of setting would you be comfortable doing this would you be comfortable shooting by yourself or shooting with multiple women and it's not shooting by myself to get me alone i only work with photographers and videographers that allow me to bring people um but like i said it's not my dream or passion so i'm assuming this man would work with people who this is their dream or passion and give them the illusion he could give them their big break. I don't know. We never even talked about the shoot. Um, he was in town um, a few months ago and wanted me to meet up with him in like Santa Monica, I think, or Malibu. It didn't end up happening. He went back to Cincinnati. Um, just very inappropriate. He did say something about him being in New York and I was thinking like, oh yeah, that would be fun to shoot in New York. I believe he wanted me in New York for different reasons because everything has been sexual and solely about my looks. Um, I posted Instagram pictures. He literally went through and liked every single one of my Instagram pictures. And you know, um, every time I post a picture on Instagram, he's liking every single picture. So that should have been a sign. Um, like I said, I already said this. Normally, I photog unless they're like a really good friend of mine, they don't ask me to go to lunch with them. I've worked with lesbian photographers, I've worked with straight male photographers, and I'm strictly talking the professional ones. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and share this because I have a lot of female friends and male friends because, you know, women can be predators too. I have um, a lot of female and male friends that want to be models and get into the industry. And I just want you guys and anyone, just not even just my friends, just everyone to, you know, look out for different signs and look out for different warnings. I put this SVU video uh, picture in here, the screenshot, is because it's such a common thing for photographers to take advantage of young models and models in general that it's literally an episode because it's that common. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and show that. And like I said, I blocked him on both of my Instagrams and I blocked his cell phone number. Um, if he has a Facebook, I'm sure he'll be like, why the fuck did you block me? That always happens. When I block people on everything, they always find one of my social media platforms to bug me on. Because I can, I have too many of them and I can never block somebody on all of them. But um, I'm sure he'll see this video and get pissed. But that's on him. Um, telling me that you want to do a shoot with me and coming off professional and then ending it with sending me a dick pic. Mind you, if you look at the times on the screenshots, that's why I was holding the messages to the left because that was allowing you guys to see the time and dates. I hadn't responded, I think, for about 24 hours to his after the shoot, can I take you out for drinks? That's insanely inappropriate. I don't know you. And every time you float with me, I really just ignore it. Um, like I said, I should have blocked him after he asked me about my chest, but I didn't. Um, yeah, I just, I'm so fucking sick of it. People, um, some of the comments I get that I end up having to delete on my YouTube channel is, why do you always attack men? Um, I say negative things about women who dissolve it from time to time, but as you can see, it just presents itself like I went to the bus stop the other day because I run some errands and you know instead of like walking or driving like sometimes it's just easier to take the bus so anyway like I said in the video so I was out running errands and running around doing a little bit of shopping whatever and he literally runs up to me saying smile beautiful screaming in my face because I didn't smile and I rolled my eyes at him and then this dude pretends he wants to do an actual photo shoot and then actually wants to sleep with me um it's it's annoying it's very annoying um i'm tired of dealing with it and i'm glad that i found so many sources and res and like recent videos and recent uh documents and recent stories about women coming out and talking about these men and women there were some women photographers that were like sexually harassing people and i'm glad men are talking about it once again i just wanted to go ahead and show the screenshots with the times and days obviously ignoring ignoring giving dry conversation not really saying anything much back and then i didn't really say anything and then he ends with the dick pic um if i had the time money and resources i would take this to the police 
if I find the time, money, and resources within the near future, I will be pressing charges because I don't like unsolicited dick pics. And I'm starting to find either doing things like this, posting them with their faces, or I'm going to start suing and pressing charges because I'm over it. Okay, anyway, I want you guys to just stay safe out there, be a real, and block sleazebags like him. If you see anybody working with him or talking about this profile, please let them know. Please send them this video. Stay safe, guys and girls. I also would like to say to male models, straight or gay, please also stay safe out there. Once again, please report this profile. Love you guys. Bye, babes. Good night. Mwah.